Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace or service the front brakes on this 2000 Nissan Altima. Um, pretty much the same as any 1998 to 2001 Altima. Tools you'll need are 14 to 21 millimeter sockets with a ratchet. You'll also need a breaker bar or a pipe for some extra leverage. Large flat blade screwdriver, large C-clamp torque wrench. Um, and then additionally, if you check your slides uh, in the caliper brackets and they are stuck, you'll need some penetrating oil, some large pliers or vice grip pliers, and a hammer. And obviously we show you the driver's side in this video. You'll always want to redo or replace or service your brakes in pairs. Okay, if you don't have the benefit of air tools, start loosening your lug nuts while the car is on the ground, then lift and support, and then remove the lug nuts in the wheel and tire. Quick inspection of the brakes here. Uh, the pads are actually are in pretty good shape. We're going to replace them anyways just to show you how to do it. But you can tell because there's a um, a little hole there and a hole there. Those are the wear indicators. Once it's down um, and that uh, slot is worn away, that means it's time to replace the pads. Um, looks like this car's been sitting for a while. The rotors, you kind of run the back of your finger up and down and you just want to make sure that you feel it nice and smooth, no large grooves. Even though it looks like there's grooves in this rotor, there's actually not. But again, we'll replace it just to show you. And what you want to do is remove the caliper. So you want to remove this bolt here and this one down here. The bolts are 14 millimeter. And we'll speed up here. These bolts should come off pretty easily. They are not supposed to be tightened too, too tight. Okay, now just use a large screwdriver. You pull up on the caliper, get the screwdriver in behind and then pry the caliper up and off. Okay. Now the pads just pull right out like that. Okay, once you have that off, you want to check your slides here and they should slide back and forth quite easily. Okay, this one down here is actually kind of frozen in place, so we'll try and free that up. Okay, first use some penetrating oil, pull the rubber boot back and spray as much in there as you can. Now what I did is I took a large pair of water pump pliers and put them onto um, the slide itself and got it to move uh, in a twisting motion first and then actually put the bolt back into the slide, grabbed onto the bolt with the pliers and hit it with a hammer. Um, probably did that for uh, just a few minutes and until it really started loosening up. And here I grab on the slide with a large pair of vice grips, uh, twist and pull it out. And here you can see once I get the rubber boot off that the slide is quite dry, dirty, and rusty. Now to remove the disc you need to remove this caliper bracket which is two large bolts here and here. These are 19 millimeters, and I'm going to use a ratchet and a piece of pipe. Pipe gives me some extra leverage, just pull nice and easy. Okay, until the bolts come loose. Now, I'll just fast forward here for a moment as I remove those two bolts. It's just a matter of putting it back in place and then starting the two bolts uh, from the back side. Torque wrench, you torque these bolts to 100 foot pounds. Okay, 
Okay, so here's the slide I pulled out. You can see I cleaned it up nicely with a wire brush. I'm just going to take penetrating oil and spray it a few times and work it in that in and out of there a bunch of times to make sure it's nice and free. And I put a light coat of cleaned it off, put a light coat of bearing grease on there, slip the boot back on, and slip it back into place. Now both of them slide quite nicely. Now bring your caliper down. As your brakes wear, this piston works its way out of the caliper. So for the new pads, you have to reset that. I'm going to put a large C-clamp on here. What you may have to find you have to do is push those slides in as well as just turn them um, so that the caliper goes right down on and then start in both bolts. Okay, now you want to tighten these up to about 20 foot pounds. Okay, now you pull the wheels back straight, take off that lug nut, and then put your wheel and tire back on and start all the lug nuts by hand. Now I'm just going to use my air gun to preliminarily tighten the lug nuts before I put the vehicle back down on the ground. And now you want to tighten your lug nuts to 100 to 110 foot-pounds. Very important, always make sure that you pump your brakes before you road test your vehicle. Make sure you get a nice hard pedal. Uh, then do a stop from 5 or 10 miles an hour just to make sure your brakes are working before you put it on the road. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.